So it's been almost three years since I switched over to split ergonomic mechanical keyboards. My first split was called an iris and ever since switching over, I haven't looked back. Eventually I replaced my iris with a more minimal layout with the corn and that's been my daily driver for a really long time. I really like the ergonomics of a split column staggered layout that's made for a more natural and comfortable typing experience. Recently, Digma reached out to me so that I could try out their Digma Defy split ergonomic mechanical keyboard. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts and experience with it for the last couple of weeks. Though they did send out this keyboard to me for free, they have no control over what I say in this video and everything I'm gonna be sharing with you are my honest thoughts and experience using it. Do-it-yourself keyboards like the Iris or the Corn typically require a pretty substantial amount of effort to put together. You would normally have to solder all of the different components onto the printed circuit boards for each keyboard half and then install a case, switches, and keycaps, and finally flash your keyboard with firmware. If you're someone like me that likes to build and tinker with stuff, then this might be something you appreciate and enjoy doing, but sometimes you might prefer something that works straight out of the box and has a ton of useful features. I think the Defy is a great option for that. Now, if we take a look at the website, you'll see that there's quite a few configuration options you can choose to customize and set up your keyboard. You can choose between a black or silver option, the language you'd like for your keycaps. The one I have here has the traditional English keyboard keycaps, but you can also go for just dashes. Something like that can work well because for example, I don't typically look down at my keyboard when I'm typing and you're probably gonna be moving keys around quite a lot in your layout until you get something that works best for you. And if they're just dashes, then you can just leave the physical keys where they are as you modify your layout through the firmware. We'll get into how that works in a little bit. The keycaps themselves are made out of ABS plastic and the legends are laser etched. I think they do feel pretty nice to type on. On my particular board, I have the linear switches, which are the Gateron G Pro 2 yellows. I usually go for linear switches on my keyboards, but this really comes down to personal preference. Here's a quick sound test with these linear switches on my keyboard. Now there's also a couple of add-ons you can add to this keyboard. You can choose if you'd like it to be wireless through Bluetooth and RF wireless connectivity, whether or not you'd like to be able to tent your keyboard, and also if you'd like some RGB underglow lighting. The Defy that I have here with me is a fully spec'd out version, but these extra features do come at an extra cost and they can add up pretty quickly. The keyboard itself is quite expensive. The base configuration goes for around 369 US dollars, whereas the fully spec'd out version with all of these add-ons goes for around $609. I would primarily use this keyboard only at my desk, so I could probably make do without the wireless connectivity and the RGB underglow lighting really comes down to whether or not you like that aesthetic. The per key RGB lighting is included in the base configuration, but I would say that adding the tenting option is something I would recommend. I started tenting my corn a couple of months ago after I designed some custom 3D printed cases for the corn, and now I really like being able to tent my keyboards. I find it makes typing a little bit more comfortable. Though this keyboard is quite expensive, it might be worth it for you, especially if you're looking for all of the benefits of an ergonomic keyboard like this in a feature-packed, ready-to-use package that requires much less effort than building one yourself. Now, with your Defy in the box, you'll also get, other than the keyboard itself, a keycap and switch puller, O-rings to modify how the keyboard sounds and feels like when you're typing on it, some test switches, a microfiber cloth, a little brush that helps remove any dust and debris on your keyboard, a couple of USB-C cables along with a USB-C to USB-A adapter, and a pretty nice travel case. You'll also find what Digma calls the Neuron. This is what you'll use to connect your keyboard to your computer. If you're not using the keyboard wirelessly, then you would connect each half to the Neuron via a USB-C cable and the Neuron to your computer via a USB-C cable as well. In a wireless setup, you would also use the Neuron to connect the keyboard to your computer via Bluetooth or RF. The Defi with the wireless add-on has a neuron that looks a little bit different from the base configuration without any wireless connectivity. Now, one of the things that I really like about the Defy is the number of keys that you have available for each thumb. My corn keyboard, for example, has only three keys for each thumb, whereas the Defy has eight keys for a total of 16. This can really help you maximize what you can do with each of your thumbs, which in contrast, in a traditional keyboard, they are only limited to pressing on the spacebar. I'm so used to having only 
currently three keys available for each thumb that in my testing, I haven't really been able to maximize the use of these eight keys per thumb, but it's definitely a really nice feature of this keyboard. Additionally, because I've been using the corn for so long, I no longer use the topmost row on the Defy, which is where you would typically have your number keys. I just feel like these keys are too far away. And if you learn how to make use of layers effectively, you'll find you might not need these topmost keys either. Another thing I really like about the Defy is the design itself. It feels very solid. It's made out of anodized aluminum. And I also really like the set of palm pads, which attach magnetically to the keyboard. With my corn, for example, I normally use this set of mouse palm pads, and that works pretty well for me. But having palm pads integrated into the keyboard itself is really nice because, for example, when you're tenting your keyboard, the pads would be tented as well, which is something that I can't do with my corn setup, for example. It's not a huge issue for me, but it's something that I appreciate in the design of the Defy. Talking about tenting, you can tent your Defy from 5 to 60 degrees for a pretty dramatic angle. I normally just stick to these smaller angles and I tent my keyboard between 10 to 15 degrees. The Defy is also hot swappable, which is always a plus because you can change out your switches whenever you want or need to. Now when it comes to the firmware itself, in contrast to a do-it-yourself keyboard like the Korn, which typically makes use of the QMK firmware, the Defy uses something different and you can install a software called Bayes Core from the Digma website in order to modify your layout and configure your keyboard however you would like. It's a pretty simple and easy to use software, which is especially nice if you're new to using and configuring a keyboard like this. I normally prefer QMK because it's what I'm used to and it has a ton of features, but configuring your Defy through Bayes Core, it's really convenient. One of the things that impressed me is that at least in the latest version, it seems that if you're keyboard is wirelessly connected to your computer via Bluetooth, Bayes Core will recognize your connected keyboard and you can actually modify the layout through the wireless connection without requiring any cables to connect the keyboard to your computer. All right, so what are my final thoughts? For me personally, I found that the minimal layout of my corn is more than enough for what I need. I have both a wireless and wired corn keyboard and I've been really happy with it. I don't really see myself switching over to the Defy as my daily driver. But that being said, if you're someone that is looking to get into the world of split ergonomic mechanical keyboards, you're looking for something that is ready to use out of the box, is comfortable, looks good, and is full of features, then I think the Digma Defy is a really nice option for that. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting and helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. And remember to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this from me. See you guys in the next one. Peace.